until now we have seen basic usages of dax within power pivot but now let's spice things up and use some nested dax function to achieve interesting results while implementing countif and summif in power pivot now unlike excel where applying countif or summif is a straightforward affair in dax we have to utilize the calculate function to nest our count or sum function within let's see how it's done Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats where we talk about data analysis techniques business intelligence platforms and much much more so let's go hey everyone so the data set that we are using today is similar to what we have used in previous power pivot videos and we have couple of columns or order date shipping date shipping mode uh, city country and then profit right and what we need to do is we have two requirements for today first one we need to create a count if function of some sort in dax using the city column okay so we need to count the number of cities occurring how many times using a dax and the second requirement is to apply a summif formula based on profit column and city column okay so we need to identify for each city what was the total profit now before we start with the requirements it is necessary for us to understand few concepts related to a specific function called calculate and its modifiers okay so when you talk about calculate function the syntax for calculate is pretty simple equal to calculate and within parameters the first parameter is expression and the second param parameter is filter and then you can apply more than one filters into that calculate function and then close the bracket now if you have not gone through my earlier content on calculate let me give you a brief summary calculate function lets you evaluate an expression which usually is some kind of aggregation function using the tabular data returned by the filter criteria which is also called a calculate modifier okay now in today's topic we will see a type of calculate modifier which is called all except now since we are talking about all except let's understand how it works the syntax for all except is pretty simple is equal to all except first parameter would be table and the second parameter would be columns and again we can add multiple columns to it now in simple terms what all except does is to instruct the engine to remove filters from everything except the columns mentioned within its parameters simple enough right now that you have a basic understanding of calculate function and its modifiers let's complete the requirement now now the first requirement is applying countif in power pivot now obviously as the usual stuff we will import this data into the power pivot by first of all converting this into a table okay and then i'm going to name this table as profit tbl now once you have named the table go to power pivot tab and click on add to data model this will add the data into your power pivot now once added what we will do is we can have that formula created inside a column or in a measure as well so i'm going to do this in a calculated column for now okay so what we need to do is we need to click on anywhere in this blank column and write equal to calculate and don't worry i'm going to explain this formula once i have written that down calculate expression would be count a so uh, similar to the count a in excel uh, it counts the number of values excluding any blank values okay now count a column would be city because that's what we wanted to count and comma filter within this filter parameter we're going to use all except okay and the table name would be profit table and the column would be city okay now let me explain this formula to you and i will explain it to you from right to left so that it's easier to understand and see how this formula works now starting from the right all except what this function is doing is it's giving out a tabular data with filters removed from everything else except for city which means 
for each row because we have applied it in a calculated column for each row it applies a filter for the city present in that row so when it comes to evaluating this row it will see what was the city in this row which was minneapolis and then it gives a tableau data of the entire data set filtering just minneapolis and giving out that table for further evaluation now once that table is given out count a function comes into picture where it it's similar to excel where it's counting the non blank values in city column using the table data given by all except right and then finally the calculate evaluates everything together to give the final results simple enough right i'm going to name this so that it's easy to refer count f city okay now the first requirement is done let's come to the second requirement the sum if formula now sum if is similar to count if in dax uh, the structure will be the same only difference is instead of a count a we will be using sum and obviously we will be including the profit column as well because we need to sum the profit column in this okay so the expression goes like this calculate sum of profit right all except profit table and then profit table city because we are calculating the sum of profit against the city column okay so that's why we included city in the all except criteria i'm going to rename this and that is it our re second requirement is also done it was simple enough right now you are equipped to apply count if and sum if inside your dax as well now instead of a column you can also use this formula inside a measure which will help you to drag these into a pivot table and see the results without duplicate entries like we see here if you see we have duplicate entries here right if you create a measure here with using the same formula and drag that into your pivot table it will show you the results without any duplicate values now mind you because in the all except we have used only city when you drag the values in the pivot you can only use the dimension as city no other dimension will work because we have not given any other dimension in the all except so that's it for today i hope this was helpful and if you are liking my content then please do remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button stay tuned for more and i'll see you in the next one thank you so much